Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Out of the Park Baseball 22 with the Colorado Rockies here on GM Games. Uh, my name is Aaron. So we are, I've been, I've been uh, pretty excited about, about jumping in here and um, getting a season two underway. So I'm back a little bit sooner than I normally was, but uh, or normally would be, I guess. But uh, I wanted to get into this, and I wanted to uh, wanted to see how season two started out uh, before we get before we get uh, actually into the episode. Though, as always, guys, if you wouldn't mind jumping over to my channel at Around the World Sports and dropping me a subscribe over there, I'd appreciate it. Uh, without any further ado, we're going to jump in. We're going to play game one, and then we'll likely sim through the rest of um, April. So uh, we've already looked at everything. We've looked at our roster. We've looked at our stats. We've looked at our prospects. We've looked at, yeah, we are ready to go. So we're going to jump right in and play some baseball. I don't play many games, but we are going to play this one. So we take on the Arizona Diamondbacks with Jeter Downs at second base. How'd they get him from the Red Sox? Along with Steven Scott for Yoan Lopez. Bad deal for the Red Sox. So they're going to go with Jeter Downs, Cole Calhoun, Pavin Smith at first, Cattell Marte out and left. And Pavin Smith is actually somebody that uh, one of you guys told me to pick up. So he's someone I'll definitely take a look at this year. Uh, as we move on, he looks like a pretty decent player. Good uh, good contact, good gap power, good eye. Not going to hit for a ton of power, but uh, could be a decent player. Cattell Marte batting fourth and playing left. Dalton Varsho, Kyle Seeger at third base. Nick Ahmed, Alec Thomas, and Zach Gallen will be getting the start for Arizona. For us, it will be Naylor at first, Rogers at second, Gallo out in right field, Colton Welker at third, Zach McKinstry at short, Michael Taylor in center, Ramiel Tapia in left and Ali Sanchez behind the plate with Corey Kluber making his debut for the Rockies on opening day. So let's play some baseball. All right, bit of a short uh, pregame delay there, but let's get to it. So Kluber will pitch to Jeter Downs. And let's get going. Pitcher friendly conditions, you like to see that. Downs hits that one out to shallow left center field. Catch made out there by Taylor. One up, one down. Next up is Cole Calhoun, and we are going to shift to the right. Hard shift right, and outfield shift right. And let's pitch to Cole Calhoun. And he hits that one out to right center field. Catch is going to be made out there by Taylor again. So two up, two down. Uh, shift the infield left. And let's pitch. Oh, I went the wrong way. Thankfully, he hit the ball the other way. And that one's going to bloop in for a single. Now up Cattell Marte. Here comes the pitch to Marte and that one's lined into left field for a base hit so first two batters fly outs next two batters single Dalton Varsho steps up so we will shift right and we will pitch 3-1 pitch to Varsho is low for a ball and they load the bases so Kyle Seeger's an extreme pull hitter so hard shift right there and outfield shift right and let's pitch to Kyle Seeger he hits a pop-up. I think that's going to be caught there by Brendan Rodgers, and we get out of the inning. So uh, Kluber loads the bases in the first, but we get out of it. So here comes Naylor. Grounded into the shift, and he grounds out 4-3. to three. Brendan Rodgers. Ground out to short. And Joey Gallo, his first plate appearance as a Rocky. Hits a high fly ball. That one's back. And 
and oh, to the wall. Joey Gallo almost sends that one out. Nick Ahmed leads off the second for Arizona and hits a fly ball out to right. And that one's going to be caught short of the wall. Alec Thomas steps in, bloops a single to right field. So the number eight hitter with a one out single. Pitch to Gallon, squares to Bunt. Gets the sacrifice down, two up, two down. So runner on second, two outs, four. Jeter downs, one, two pitch to downs, strike three. So Kluber's first strikeout as a member of the Rockies. Colton Welker steps in to lead off the second for us. And gets our first hit of the year. Base hit to center for Colton Welker. Next up is Zach McKinstry. And we're going to put on a little hit and run action here with McKinstry. And he hits that one out to right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And Welker's going to go to third. So a little hit and run action worked nicely for us there. Stepping in now, Michael Taylor with runners on the corners. And he bloops that one out to right field. Oops, let me shut that off. And that's going to be our first run of the game. And McKinstry's going to go over to third. So we are up one nothing. Runners on first and third. Ramiel Tapia stepping in. And we are going to have Michael Taylor try to steal here. Nope. Ball. We're going to have him try to steal second. We're going to force the issue here. Pitch is a strike, so I'm going to force him to go here. Oh, line ball, line drive out into right field for a base hit. So, uh, worked as an executed run and a hit. And bottom of the order, getting it done. We're up 2 nothing. Here comes Ali Sanchez now. 1-1 one, one pitch to the catcher. Grounded to third. 5-4-3 double play, but the run comes in, and we are now up 3 to nothing. Corey Kluber steps in, and he strikes out swinging, but we pick up 3. We're up 3 nothing. Uh, so Calhoun is an extreme pull hitter, so we need to shift hard right, and we need to shift right. Here comes the 1-2 to Calhoun. Strike three. Pavin Smith is a pull hitter, so we will shift right and shift. Actually, I'll leave the outfield where it is. 3-1 pitch to Smith is blooped out to center field. Here comes Taylor, and he makes the catch, so two up, two down. And Cattell Marte steps in now. 1-1 one, one pitch to Marte is going to be a base hit out to left. It's the fourth hit of the game for Arizona. Dalton Varsho is a pull hitter, so we will shift right. And that one's popped up on the infield. Catch is going to be made there by Welker. And we go to the bottom of the third, up 3 nothing. Top of the order, Josh Naylor steps in. Naylor strikes out swing, and he's 0 for 2. And I am recording, right? After all this, I am recording, yes. Okay, so here comes Brendan Rodgers. 1-1 one, one pitch to the second baseman, and he's hit by a pitch. That brings up Joey Gallo. 0-2 pitch to Gallo. Swung on and missed strike three. Colton Welker started off the second with a single, and he lines that one out to left for a base hit. Colton Welker, 2-4-2. Two, two. Uh, we're going to hold... Rogers at second, and that will bring up McKinstry. McKinstry hits a high fly ball out to left center field. That one I think is going to stay in the park, though. Yep, catch made out there. 3 nothing after 3. 45 pitches for Kluber through 3 innings. Extreme pull hitter, hard shift right. Outfield shift right. Here comes the first pitch to Seeger. Hits that one out to left, but the catch is made out there by Tapia. Here comes Nick Ahmed now. One-two pitch, one, pitch to Tapia is grounded to third. Welker has it over to first for the out. Alec Thomas now. One-one pitch to Thomas is going to be a pop-up on the infield. Catch is going to be made there by McKinstry, and that's four scoreless for Kluber here in the first. Michael Taylor stepping in. Full count pitch to the center fielder. 
ball four. So Taylor is on, and we're definitely going to try to run with him. Here comes the throw down, and Taylor is safe. Tapia with a runner on second now, and he strikes out swinging. Here comes Ali Sanchez with a chance to put us up by four. Pops that one up on the infield. And that's going to leave it up to Kluber to try to get the run home from second with two outs, and Kluber grounds out to first. So we're up 3 nothing after four innings. David Peralta coming in to pinch hit for Gallon here in the fifth inning. That's going to be a base hit to center. So Arizona gets their lead man on. Jeter downs. Ground ball to third. That one's going to get down the line. It's going to go all the way to the wall. And I think Peralta's going to score. Yeah, it's a triple for Jeter downs. And it's 3-1. to one. All right, so they get on the board. Uh, hard shift right. Shift right. Here comes the 1-2 pitch to Calhoun. Ground ball on the infield. That's going to get the run home, and it's going to be an infield single. Ugh. All right. Here comes the 2-2 pitch now to Pavin Smith. Strike three. Cattell Marte, 1-0 pitch to him. That one's going to be caught, and not a double play, but the runner remains at first. So here comes a Varsho. 1-2 pitch to him. Swung on and missed, so Kluber makes it through five. Leading off will be Josh Naylor against Daniel Ponce de Leon. Naylor hits that one into the shift and grounds out to second. Uh, I should probably get somebody up in the bullpen here. They're going to have lefty, righty, lefty. So I think we're going to go with Claudio. Get him warmed up. I mean, Kluber's only thrown 75 pitches, but still. Uh, all right, Brendan Rodgers stepping in. 1-1 one, one pitch to him. Grounded out to short. And here comes Joey Gallo. 3-1 pitch to the right fielder. Hit high in the air out to right field, but that's going to stay in the ballpark, and we go down 1-2-3. All right, first batter is Seager. Extreme pull. Let's put that shift on. Actually, let's go like that. 1-1 one, one pitch. Grounded into the shift. And that's first out of the inning. Nick Ahmed stepping in now. 2-2 two, two pitch to him. Check swing. Called strike three. And here comes Alec Thomas. 2-2 two, two pitch to him. That one's going to be blooped on the infield. Catch is going to be made by Rodgers, and uh, Kluber gets through six. That works for us. Uh, so Arizona next inning is going to have righty, righty, lefty, lefty switch. So let's... So Claudio's ready, but I think we're going to go Chafin in the seventh. Let's see if we can get some additional runs here. Colton Welker stepping in. He's got a couple hits. It's that one in the hole. Long throw over to first for the out. Zach McKinstry, 1-2 pitch to him. Strike three. And Michael Taylor now. Full count pitch to him. Inside for a ball, and he's definitely going to try to steal again. And he's going to steal second successful. Oh, he got caught stealing. Huh. All right, well. All right, so Chafin's going to come in for Kluber. And he's going to face Kirk. Here's the one-two pitch to Alejandro Kirk. Strike three. Next up, Jeter downs. Full count pitch to the leadoff hitter. Strike three. Now Cole Calhoun. And we will shift hard right. And outfield will shift right. That one's popped up on the infield. So Chafin with a really, really nice seventh inning there. Sending them down in order in the seventh. Uh, who do they have up next inning? Lefty, switch, righty. Uh, so who do we want? Do we want to go Tommy Doyle? Give the kid a chance here? 
think we'll get him up. And it was, what, lefty switch. Yeah, if we get down to this part of the lineup, I'll go to a lefty. So we'll do this. Doyle and Claudio. All right. So here comes Tapia. 1-2 pitch to the left fielder. Smashed out to center field. That one's going to be caught out there, though. That's the hardest hit ball we've had all game. Here comes Ali Sanchez. He's 0-2. Sanchez hits that one on a line out to left field for a base hit. So we get a one-out base runner here. So they're going with a righty. Well, let's get Marwin Gonzalez out there to pinch hit. 2-2 Two -two pitch to Marwin. Called strike three. All right. Josh Naylor now. 2-2 Two -two pitch to him. That one's lined right up the middle for a base hit. So we're going to keep Sanchez at second. So first hit of the year for Naylor. There's an opportunity for Brendan Rodgers. That one gets away from the catcher, and the runners will advance. So now a huge opportunity for Brendan Rodgers to extend our lead here if he can get a base hit. And he strikes out swinging. All right, so Tommy Doyle's going to come in. He's going to face Pavin Smith. Uh, shift right. 3-2 pitch to Pavin. That one's hit down the right field line for a bait leadoff single. All right. Leadoff single. Here comes Cattell Marte. That one's lined up the middle for a base hit as well. Smith is going to go over to third, and he is thrown out at third base by Michael Taylor. So Michael Taylor showing up in his first game here as a member of the uh, Colorado Rockies. So that's going to be it for Tommy Doyle. We're going to go with Alex Claudia. Oh, I can't replace the pitcher yet. Right, he's got to face three batters. All right, so Seth Beer. Uh, shift right. I don't want a hard shift right. I just want to shift right. 2-0 pitch to Beer. Grounded to third. 5-4 to four to three. We turn the double play. Very nice. All right, so who do we... Uh, Radiel Martinez is our closer. All right, so we go to the ninth, up or bottom of the eighth, up by a run. Here comes Joey Gallo, one-two pitch to him. Did he? Yeah, Joey Gallo got it. There we go. First home run of the year. First home run as a Rocky. Joey Gallo, 439 feet. Give us a two-run lead here in the bottom of the eighth. Colton Welker, two for three so far. He gets called out on strikes. Zach McKinstry now. Pops that one back to the catcher. Varsho makes the catch there. And Michael Taylor. Hits that one out to left. And it's going to get down for another hit. Michael Taylor, three for three. And we're going to steal again. See if we can get him into scoring position here. Michael Taylor with his second stolen base of the game. Now with a runner in scoring position and two outs for Ramiel Tapia. They walk Tapia, and that will get to Ali Sanchez. Now do we... I think we do this. Buster Posey comes into pitch hit and grounds out to short. All right, that's fine. I figured Buster would have a, a shot at... Uh, at uh, Getting a pinch hit single there, but that's fine. So we're going to go to Radiel Martinez, the Cuban import here in the ninth. Ground ball to short. Seager ground, or to second. Seager grounds out there. Nick Ahmed. Here comes the 2-0 pitch to the shortstop. Grounded to short there. Two up, two down here in the ninth. And Alec Thomas now, the final opportunity for... And swung on and missed. So the Rockies win on opening day. They beat the Diamondbacks 4-2. to two. So let's take a look at the box score. So for Arizona, Jeter Downs 1-4. for four. He had a triple uh, run scored in RBI. Cole Calhoun 1-4 for four with an RBI. Pav Pavin Smith 2-4. for four. Cattell Marte went 3-4. for four. Varsho 0-2. Oh, Beer 0-1 oh, in a pinch hitting. Uh... Situation, Seager and Ahmed both went 0 for 4. Alec Thomas went 1 for 4. Peralta with a pinch hit single. And Alejandro Kirk, they got him from uh, Toronto. 
Uh, he struck out in his only plate appearance. Zach Gallen went the first four, gave up five hits, three runs, one walk, struck out four. Ponce de Leon went two and two-thirds, gave up one hit, walked one, struck out two. Uh, Whitley came on, pitched a third of an inning, and Ginkle pitched the eighth. He gave up one run there for us. Josh Naylor, one for four. Brendan Rodgers, 0 for three. Joey Gallo went one for four, including his first home run of the season. Colton Welker, two for two. McKinstry, one for four. Michael Taylor, two for two. An RBI, two walks. Reached base four times. Stole two bases. Was fantastic. And threw out a runner at third. Ramiel Tapia, one for three with an RBI. Ali Sanchez, one for three. Posey, 0 for one. Corey Kluber picks up the win, going six, giving up seven hits, two runs, walked one, struck out five. Chafin and Doyle pitched scoreless innings, and Radiel Martinez came on, pitched the ninth, and got the save. So we win opening day, uh, four to two. And uh, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better start to the season. So let's uh, let's move on, and let's uh, uh, actually, I'm going to take a quick break, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Had to step away for just a second um but yeah that game one couldn't have gone any better kluber pitched great gallo hit a home run uh that was fantastic before we go any further let's just take a quick second let's look i think we looked at this already but let's look at the waiver wire yeah there's nobody there no hitters that really pique my interest and i don't think there were any pitchers either right well, Patrick Murphy's not a bad a ground ball pitcher. We're going to put in a claim. Yep. All right. So let's sim ahead today. All right. So let's look at our calendar. We're not going to obviously play every game here, uh, but we went on opening day. We beat Arizona. Let's move on and let's play today's game. And we'll t- if we if we continue to play well, we'll look at some of the box scores. We lost that we lost game uh, two seven to four. Uh, we did claim Patrick Murphy, so that means we need to make a decision with our pitchers or our pitching staff. Uh, oh, Morton struggled. Uh, Morton didn't pitch all that well. Eleven hits in four innings, gave up five runs. Um, all right, I'm getting distracted here. I have to make a decision on sending somebody down. I think. Okay, so I can't send, but that's okay. I think I think this designate him for assignment and put Patrick Murphy on the active roster. He becomes a depth starter, and because he's a ground ball pitcher, I think that will work out well. So, all right, let's look at the box score. We're not going to do this for every game, but because it's early on, I just kind of want to get a feel for things. Brendan Rodgers, three for five. Tapio went three for three. Um, yeah, Morton struggled, um, but that's okay. We're not going to win them all. We're not even. I'm not even anticipating us being 500 this year. But you know, we only won 53 games last year, so anything is an improvement. Let's move on. Four three win in ten, and I said I'm not going to look at the box score for every game, but here I am looking at the box score for every game. Joey Gallo zero for two, walked three times, uh, pinch hit two run home run by Sam Hilliard in the bottom of the seventh to tie the game. Very nice. Michael King pitched well in his first game. Again, our bullpen looked sharp. Claudio Murphy in his debut, two scoreless innings, and Martinez. So we're two and one. All right, let's keep going. We'll get to here, and we'll take a look at our stats real quick, and then we'll just sim through the end of the month. Another, wow, 13-10. to 10. There's the first Rockies game of the year, an eight-run second inning. Joey Gallo, three for five. Josh Naylor, three for three, his first home run. Colton Welker hit his first home run of the season. Uh, McKinstry had three hits. Uh, that was that was the first Rocky game of the year for sure. Uh, Schmidt got pounded for eight runs and three and a third. Uh, but the bullpen did their job, specifically the last three, Diaz, Murphy, and Martinez, three and two-thirds scoreless. So we're three and one, guys. Three and one to start the season. We get a day off. Oh, we got to do that. 
Oh, Estevez refuses to be demote. What? I waived him. Oh, he's got one day left. Okay. Uh, and I need to set up the minor leagues. That's the one thing I didn't do. And I just let the AI do that. Um, Lighter and Veen. Those are our, that's our future right there, guys. Along with Drew Romo, of course. Uh, we've got a lot of um, minor league talent that we can use to try to plug some holes if we need to. Um, so yeah, all right, let's continue. All right, we take on the Dodgers. Max Scherzer on the mound for the Dodgers, I guess. We lose 12-8. 15 to 3 win. Joey Gallo, five home runs through the first six games of the season. I would say he's paying dividends thus far. Josh Naylor hitting 409. He's got a couple of home runs. Marwin Gonzalez picks up three RBIs. Corey Kluber moves to 2 and 0 on the season. Great start for the Rockies. We lost 4-1. Now we go to San Francisco. 3-1 loss. 4-2 loss. He refuses to be demoted. All right, we'll either see if anybody wants him or we'll just cut him. 29-year-old reliever who can't throw strikes is not anybody I'm all that concerned about. Oh, we do get some interest in him, though. Uh, do we want to add... I mean, if we're going to cut him, we may as well trade him for something, right? Like Matt Beattie. Sure, that works. We we'll trade him for Matt Beattie. And play multiple positions. Great. Done. All right. Uh, schedule. Let's see if we can avoid the sweep. All right, so we're 5-5 five and five through 10. So let's look at the box score, and then we'll look at the team stats real quick. Naylor continues to hit. Gallo's at 314. He's still got those five home runs. Welker's hitting really well. Uh, McKinstry's average is down. Uh, Taylor, 0 for 2. Uh, Tapia's 385. Freeland pitched well in this one. He's pitched okay through his two starts. Uh, Radio Martinez has been perfect so far through four uh, through three outings, so a decent start five and five. And we're not going to go too in depth right now. We're just going to oh, you Darvish out for the season. Um, yeah, we're not going to Otani suffered a setback. Oh, he's out for a year. Not good for Shohei. Uh, we're not going to go too in-depth into the stats right now. I just kind of want to take a look and see where we stand, and we'll, we'll do a, a, a deeper dive at, at the end of the month. But Kluber's 2-0, uh, our only starter with a win so far. Uh, offense doing what the Rockies' offense does. We're first in home runs. We're first in runs scored. Joey Gallo has been uh, exactly what we needed him to be through 10 games, five home runs, 11 RBIs. Naylor's hitting. Uh, Brendan Rodgers is hitting. Our top four has just been lights out. We get Brendan Crawford back in a few weeks. That'll be nice. Michael Taylor's done really well thus far offensively and defensively. Uh, Tapia continues to hit towards the bottom of the order. Cool. So good start. Good start to the season. Let's keep going. We take on Arizona again. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, we go to Arizona. And we lose 6-2. Charlie Morton is hurt. Shoulder tendonitis, two weeks. I think a disabled list trip is probably the right move as we drop to 5-7 and seven on the year. Uh, let's call up... Stevenson, and we will put Murphy in the rotation. Make him middle relief. Can we avoid the sweep? We cannot. 
So we've now lost six out of seven as we go to Atlanta. Seven out of eight. And we finally win a game. So let's put Beatty on the 40 man. We'll stick him in triple A. So we finally win a game. Seven to one. Who pitched? Freeland pitched well. He's three he's got a three he's got an ERA of three in uh, three starts. Gallo hits his seventh home run of the season already. All right, we are six and nine. Let's get through the end of the month. Come on, six nothing loss. All right, so we're six and ten. Wheels have come off here a little bit. One and five in our last six. We beat the Rangers. Joey Gallo makes a homecoming. And we lose to the Rangers 12-3 there. What is this? I don't know. I'm not interested in the Hartford Yard Goats. All right, so we got two games to finish off the month against the Nationals. Lose 3-1. to one. And lose 7-6. to six. All right, so we finish April 7-13. and 13. It's not ideal, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, if we look at some of our stats, Clark Schmidt continues to just continues, continues to struggle. I keep throwing him out there. I don't really have any other options. Patrick Murphy, uh, he's been a nice acquisition so far. Charlie Morton has dropped. Uh, his ratings have dropped. Um, hopefully he can come back healthy and give us some uh, some innings before we move him. Tommy Doyle. Has had a rough go of it early on in his Rockies career. Uh, Naylor dropped a little bit. Gallo dropped a little bit. Lambert in double. Why is Lambert in double A? Yeah, I mean, I guess fine. He he needs. He hasn't pitched in ages. So, uh, and Drew Romo is up to one and a half stars. Matt Chapman, AL Hitter of the Month, Mookie Betts in the National League, AL Pitcher of the Month, Lucas Giolito. Uh, Pablo Lopez of the Marlins gets the NL Pitcher of the Month. AL Rookie of the Month is Josh Lau. And in the NL, Francisco Morales. So we sit at... Oops, sorry, we sit at... Uh, seven and thirteen. We're in fourth place. The Giants are just worse than us. Uh, already seven and a half games out. Uh, we're tenth in runs scored. The offense has, at least, the number of runs scored has plummeted. We're not hitting a lot of home runs, which is a bit surprising. Um, but the pitching has been, I guess, a bit better than expected. Uh, we're fourth and fifth, fourth in pitching WAR. Our starters haven't been great. Kluber's now two and three with a five five nine, so he's gone the wrong direction in his last few starts. But uh, I think he'll be ultimately. I think he'll be okay. Let's look at pitching first. Uh, yeah, twenty nine innings, given up thirty nine hits, only given up two home runs. Um, five five nine ERA, three point two eight FIP. So I, you have to think that that will even out a little bit. Senzatella has been really good in a relief role uh, for us now. He's not starting anymore, but he's been really good as a reliever. Patrick Murphy. Has done a nice job. Radio Martinez has done a nice job. Kyle Freeland has been good in three starts. Um, Claudio, six runs and in nine innings. He might be getting overused um, against righties because he's not very good against righties. So we, we may need to let's limit him to a specialist, into a specialist role and see if that changes things. Uh, Chafin has been okay. I mean, again, you know, it's still early. So uh, Diaz, Schmidt, King, Delise, and Doyle, all with super high ERAs. Uh, but it's still early. Um, and batting. So Joey Gallo, seven home runs, 15 RBIs through the first 20 games. He's on pace for 57 home runs this year. I would take that. Uh, 954 OPS. Michael Taylor, second on the team in war. Um, just BABIP, 605 BABIP, uh, hitting 354, 417, 446. Josh Naylor, two home runs, seven RBIs, walked more than he struck out in the leadoff role, so he's done a nice job there. Colton Welker showing some power, four home runs, 11 RBIs, 927 OPS. Brendan Rodgers hitting 350. Ali Sanchez and Buster Posey are basically a zero war player through one month, but they're both playing good defense. They're not hitting. They're both playing good defense. Ramiel Tapia, 
It's got three triples and a double. That's a weird stat line. Uh, um, and then all of my other hitters are negative war, Fuentes, Hilliard, Peraza, McKinstry, and Marwin Gonzalez. McKinstry does have a home run. Uh, he's just not hitting very much. So there you have it. Uh, front office-wise, fans are still coming to the ballpark. We still have a ton of money, good loyalty, good fan interest. Um so, you know, this isn't a make or break year for us at all, I don't think. We're not in a position where, you know, fans are going to stop coming if, if, if we aren't competitive. I think we just need to be better than we were last year. And I think we're on target to be better than we were last year. I mean, 7-13 and 13 doesn't scream improvement, uh, but our lineup is better. Our pitching staff is better. Um, our minor league system is better. And I think that's how you judge a rebuild, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, um, guys, if you like uh, if you like what you see, you know, drop a subscribe to the GM Games channel. These guys have got all sorts of stuff uh, to look at here if you're a fan of sports simulations like I am. Again, head over to my channel at Around the World Sports. Drop me a subscribe over there. I've got a Detroit Tigers playthrough going on over there as well as a franchise hockey manager uh, playthrough, which is the same uh, people that do Out of the Park Baseball. Um, so guys, I appreciate you watching, uh, and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.